Thank you so much for stopping by. I am so excited about this recipe. Hey guys, what up? It's me, Jackie Cooks. Welcome back to the channel. Hey guys, today I got a special treat for you. Red beans, delicious red beans. Creamy, thick, smooth, full of so much flavor. These are the best beans, hands down. Everybody I know loves red beans. They hit I did pair my red beans with some white rice. Now y'all know I got to have some cornbread. Can't have no beans without cornbread. It's just not right. Come on guys, let's get this party started right now. Now we picked out all the bad beans and now we're just going to go ahead and wash them very well. Remove all the rocks and dirt. <laughs> For added flavor, we're going to be using about a pound and a half of smoked turkey next. That looks like a lot of meat, don't it? That's because it is. I like a lot of meat in my beans. And you don't want your guest to say, where's the meat? She didn't even have no meat in her beans. We're adding one pound of dry red beans to our crock pot. Along with that, we're adding one small onion chopped. Can't forget the three bay leaves. Oh yeah. Now that we have all our ingredients in, we're going to mix everything very well. And we're just going to let that cook. Right now, we're just going to put the top on and let it do its thing. Okay guys, I'll see you looking. It's ready. Make sure you take the bay leaves out because you don't want your guests chewing on those. Ooh, they'll be mad at you if you left them in. The meat is tender, falling off the bones, and the beans are ready, tender. Now you always want to remember to take your bones out. You don't want your guests to be interrupted while eating your delicious beans by a hard bone. That's not cool. We don't eat the bones. At this time, we're going to add our seasonings of Mrs. Dash garlic powder, Old Bay, and smoked paprika, thyme, black pepper, just all the seasonings to your desired taste. I'm not going to add any salt because smoked meat already has enough salt in it. Smells like heaven. Now we're just going to stir it up and mix it very well so all those seasonings could get to know each other. Our juice is going to get thick, which is the most important part. We're gonna add all that goodness meat that we took off the bone for so much flavor. Look at all that meat. Don't be stingy. Don't be shy. Ooh, somebody gonna love you after they eat a bowl of these delicious red beans. Smooth and creamy, full of flavor tender beans. I forgot my muffin pan. Let me go get it now. I'm just going to make about six cornbread muffins and I'm going to use my ice cream scoop to fill my muffin cups because it makes it so easy, so convenient. Look at that. No mess. Perfectly filled. You could serve this with chow chow, onions, fresh onions, fresh tomatoes, um, coleslaw, Ooh, these beans are gonna be so good. I can't wait. I must say, these are the best red beans I've ever, ever eaten in my life. They are so delicious. The flavor is incredible. I hope you enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed making it for you. If you have not already, please subscribe and thumbs up this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.